to continue on with how I make my pumpkin puree, um, I'm going to do it in the freeze dryer so that I can make it into a powder and then just add water as needed to make it back into a pumpkin puree. So I have my roasted, half mashed up pumpkin on my trays. Uh, my bottom tray kind of overfilled just a wee bit. But it's just the pumpkin skins and the pumpkin seeds with the guts. Um, kids love, some kids love pulling the seeds out. I don't really, it's really gross feeling. So I'll dry them. The inside of the seeds will not be dried out, but it'll dry enough that I can just kind of flake off all the pumpkin gut part. And just as an added, I had a little bit of room on one tray. So from here back is pumpkin puree, but uh, I have two lovely mothers who have graciously given me about an ounce of their breast milk and I'm going to make them some little, uh, some keepsakes. So but that's for a different video. But I had a little bit of room so I put their breast milk into a silicone con container here. So their breast milk is in a little silicone container uh, to keep it separate and I will use that to make some re resin keeps it. that in, turn it on, and close up my drain, and it'll be, oh, I'm guessing, because that pumpkin is really wet, uh, because it was roasted, I'm guessing about four, closer to 48 hours, and I'll be back. All right, so I'm back. The pumpkin has been has finished in the freeze dryer and I'm gonna show you how I process it to put it away and so that I can use it later. Um, so first, we've got our pumpkin seeds and guts and then the pumpkin skin. Like I said, this is an easy way I find to separate those guts and the seeds. Take the freeze dried seeds and guts that are together and I can just crumble them over a colander over top of a bowl. And just squish up the pumpkin. Of course, you can do this with gloves on or, you know, freshly washed hands like I am. Um, it's just for me and my home use, so I'm using just freshly washed hands. And there we go. Clean, fairly clean pumpkin seed. And I've got pumpkin powder. Nice, soft, fluffy 
pumpkin powder. And now if you want to make some pumpkin puree, you can take some of this pumpkin powder, put it in a container, a splash of water, give it a mix. And you've got pureed pumpkin. So great for any of your baking or uh, pets if you're having digestive issues. Nice, clean, fresh pumpkin powder. So here I have a tray of the pumpkin pieces when so I put it through um, it needed some extra dry time so when I did that I actually flipped it so it was upside down and here we have our pumpkin just the chunks that were put on the trays And I just want to show you, I don't know if you can see here, there's like bubbles of the natural sugars crystals that are in the pumpkin. So that's just mm, lovely. So what I do next is I've already done one tray worth. And it got me that much pumpkin powder and this much of kind of a thicker, maybe pieces of the edge, um, kind of the more caramelized bits. So the way I get those is I take my Ninja. You can do this in a bigger one, but I like to do little small batches. break up my pieces just to get, just enough to get it in there put the lid on go and blend it with my ninja. I love the ninja because it's got the multiple blades setting heights instead of like a normal blender which only has them at the bottom. This helps a more even chop or blend or grind. Sometimes pieces get stuck up here. That piece did. Couple pulses. I have a collapsible funnel and this is a flour sifter. So pour some of it in and let's 
Just sift away. Give it a little shake. Probably good enough. Take a silicone brush and just brush down all the powder, the nice fine powder. Then I transfer the silicone uh, funnel to the jar. Add the larger bits that didn't sift out. So there's a couple things that can be done with this stuff. Uh, if you're making it, it's nice for a little, little topper, uh, use it like, um, what's that? Like cornmeal. If you're making like a pumpkin loaf and you want that kind of cornmeal finish on it, uh, you've got basically pumpkin meal, uh, cause it is a little, A coarse little bit of coarseness there. Um, put it in a coffee grinder and grind it up finer to get more of it into your pumpkin powder. Um, but yeah, so and I just keep going and going until all of this is split between these. And yeah, that's it. So again, with this type of powder, pumpkin powder, you can make your pumpkin puree. Add how much? Some water. I don't measure when uh, I rehydrate things, so this wasn't enough water. I don't know, it might be good enough for some things, but if you want a nice puree, it's a little thick. So add another splash of water. A good starting point for most things, most freeze-dried dehydrated powders to rehydrate is you start off with two parts of your powder and one part water. Sometimes that'll be good enough. You might make it all the way up to equal parts. Might need to go further, depending on what you're doing. But now, again, look at that beautiful color of pumpkin. It was roasted pumpkin, so so much better than just the the pumpkin puree you get in the store, which is a, just a steamed pumpkin, so you don't get that nice caramelization, caram <laughs> caramelization, here we go, of the sugars, as we saw on the tops of here, the sugars coming out and crystallizing. So you get to take advantage of all those natural sugars and have some wonderful pumpkin puree. Mm. You don't even need to add sugar to it if you're going to make a pumpkin pie or anything. That was actually nicely sweet. Not overly sweet. And this is just the pumpkin puree, pure pumpkin. And one of those jack-o'-lantern pumpkins. Not a, um, not a pumpkin pie pumpkin. So... No need to waste hundreds and thousands of pounds of pumpkins each year. Find other ways to carve them, uh, decorate them, 
and then actually use them for food. So I'm going to continue to uh, package up, process and package up the rest of uh, the pumpkin powder or the, the actual pumpkin, those pumpkin seeds and the pumpkin skin. Um, and then I have, hopefully maybe later today, I can get to making a pumpkin treat. I'm going to try out some more experiments. So, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, um, follow, if you have any ideas for anything you'd like to see, you want to try, put them down in the comments, I'm open to almost anything, because why not? <laughs>